Hi guys, wanted to do a review of a 14 by 16 a Davis wall tent. Just got the tent in yesterday and I'll put some time lapse footage up as well of me putting it up and things of that nature. Overall, so far, extremely happy with the purchase. Uh, dealing with Davis has been great and I can disclose that I'm certainly not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form paid uh, full price for the tent but uh, really happy with the whole experience with Davis and with I think it was Kyle who I dealt with with some just some general questions and things of that nature uh, I kind of optioned it out pretty good I put a window in each side and then I put the Colorado doors on both ends I did put screens on both ends I'll do a tour of the inside then as well but I've been just I mean, really happy with the whole experience. Everybody at Davis was easy to deal with. The tent actually came in like two weeks sooner than I thought it was going to be made. And yeah, it was good. It was good. So no complaints on the service. Uh, I have a little bit of an issue on some of the organizers that they sent. The stitching wasn't the best on the ends of the Velcro, but I didn't even bring it to their attention yet. But I know for certain that uh, just my other emails and phone conversations I'm sure it's not going to be an issue and for me I just uh, threw out other reviews on YouTube and other people talking about how how well Davis is to deal with I wanted to I wanted to give him a shot and so far I'm really happy that I did because I feel that the quality of tent is good I have never owned a wall tent before and actually coming from kind of more of an ultralight or very lightweight Backpacking and stuff is kind of an odd thing, but what do you do whenever you want to put four or six guys together and do an elk hunt? Uh, some ultralight uh, camping gear is not really the way to go. So this is what we're going to try. I've hunted Colorado, Idaho. Uh, trying to think any other states out west, mainly Colorado, since I was about 12 years old, and we've never did the whole wall tent so this is my first experience with wall tenting uh, we're gonna go out possibly this year if not this year definitely next year and I have two boys that we will be taking out with us just gonna start a little tradition here with my with my boys so but I'm gonna do a little tour of the inside just thought you know put together some photos put together a little review overall five star you know a plus for Davis so far so here I am inside the tent. Again, this is a 14 by 16. Ended up with the Peak Stove from Davis. That's a Davis stove. Put the uh, water jacket on the side. And then these are the organizers. Probably gonna get another one. I'd like it to be like a four person tent and I'm probably gonna get a kitchen organizer. I bought four of the organizers so far and that was a little bit of the area there that you can see that stitching. I think they just forgot to cross stitch the, the Velcro on there, but overall, very happy. Uh, I, I did my own conduit. And that was easy to do. The cut sheet that Davis gave me was spot on. No issues there at all. Uh, everything that I ordered was was here together, timely, professional, no issues or problems. So if you guys are on the fence on what wall tent to get, I did opt for the floor, but but I, anyway, I would I would highly recommend Davis. So very clean, nice look. I'll open up these windows. Give you guys a little shot with a little bit more daylight in here. I'm not sure how, how well it's lit inside the tent on the camera. There it is with the windows open. Probably highly recommend windows. It's an archery season. It can get a little bit warm and toasty. I can't imagine how warm this tent could probably get in uh, August. So I would probably definitely recommend windows, screens. I opted for, like I said, the doors on both sides. You can always close them. That was my thought, but... 
At least it's, it's there for the option. So very nice, very nice, very happy. I just kind of threw this thing up yesterday in the yard. Total assembly time probably took me about two hours from like start to finish. And that's all the poles and basically by myself. My son's helped me out for about four minutes. Uh, but that was basically by myself with all the poles, with the with the can with the with the tent, and then putting in the floor, unpackaging, putting in the floor, unpackaging the stove, putting in the stove for the first time. So everything for the first time, never any experience with a wall tent or a stove or anything like that in this type of setup took me probably around two hours. So that just goes to show you, you could dial this in, probably get a nice system down. You could dial this in pretty darn quick to get this tent set up pretty darn quick. So yeah, it goes together good. It's heavy. I'm not lying. The wall tent itself is heavy. Uh, poles, again, collectively, they're heavy, but everything is in, breaks apart and it's in a nice movable package once you break it down into the pieces. Just a little different than ultralight camping. <laughs> but pretty happy with the purchase. So here's the stove. Burnt some uh, little bit of cardboard in there last night along with a couple sticks of wood just to burn off some of the paint. And probably burn it again tonight while it's set up. There is a water jacket. This side table comes off, legs come off. Everything packs up into a real nice package. I have the, the stove uh, case or bag or whatever you want to call with it. Not sure how many gallons that water tank would hold, but nice to have warm water. <laughs> 